everyone welcome to the replay if you're getting the replay sorry i'm moving the camera but you guys don't want to see that the entire time oh we might need to bring it down here you hold it sean and say hello as people come in i'll get it adjusted hello hello <laughs> special guest that's you that's me hey everyone hello oh that's just gonna have to be there. that's fine i don't think anybody cares nobody knows the trouble i've seen all right guys welcome to a ken from the car with special guests um, if you are new to our channel, thank you. Hit subscribe and like. Um, and you're probably saying, well, it's Ken from the car. Why is Sean here? So we're going to explain that in just a second. Um, but uh, we are late today because we have been busy, busy, busy little bees. Yeah, we have. Um, it's been craziness. So um, we'll turn that down. Um, so, uh, we're going to be talking about a lot of stuff. The, um, reason Sean, Mr. Shawnee is here, um, is we've been getting a ton of mail from people over Han and, um, obviously, um, we love our dogs and everything, but, uh, Sean is here. So if I lose composure, he can... <laughs> Sean does much better with death than Ken. Let me just tell you that. Um, so we'll talk about that. We also have a taste test that I wanted him to be part of. Um, we have some fun stuff to show. We have some updates I wanted to talk about. And I wanted to bring him to my special little spot in the woods. Ooh, we're getting fancy. So this way I don't look like a creeper in the woods just talking to a camera because this lady always walks by and I'm sure that's what she really sees. Woods. Well, you know what I mean, right? What would you say it is? It's a blank spot for homes to be put. <laughs> a blank spot where homes to be built. I mean, there's enough spots here for probably about four or five homes. Mm. Um, so, number one, make sure you're staying hydrated. It is very, very warm where we are. 94. Well, look at that go. Um, so we also are going to be rushing home after this and going live on our other channel. So make sure Two you are nine. subscribed on that channel. That's our Chaka Tour channel. Uh, Ken's Creations uh, Chaka Tour. Oh, thank you so much, Jen. Um, thank you. So are you at your special spot? Yes, my, my special spot. All right. So let's start with a couple of... Uh, stuff and sales, and then we're gonna do some viewer mail. There's actually not a ton of stuff, not a ton of sales or anything. Um, so, uh, yeah, but we'll still go over it. Uh, you will notice as we progress in our world, uh, you know what? Before we do that, should we show them some sneak peeks Which one? of Ken Beautiful Crazy Life? Sure. So, for those of you who do not know, the reason we've been so busy crazy is September 6th, which is my 40th birthday, uh, we will be launching our brand new channel, which is Ken's Beautiful Crazy Life. Now, as life does, we had a curveball thrown at us today, which, once again, is going to get us off schedule, you. but... It's okay. We have things that we're going to be doing. So we are going to be talking about that too. Um, but in anticipation, um, we have been doing some avatars. So I'm going to show you some stuff. I've shown you a few of these before. Um, so this is the my main avatar. Let me see if you guys can see that good. Yeah. So that's the main avatar of me and Toby Joe. And you guys can see it is with my power tool because our new channel, without giving it a much much away, how would you describe it, Sean? It's like a lifestyle DIY direction. Not right. that we're done with crafts, but no. more of the crafts are gonna be more about DIY, not making cards and paper crafts. So that's correct. Um, now a segment will be how to Tuesdays, how to Tuesdays are going to be anything from remodel oh, deer. Look at it. It's beautiful. It's right there. We're in the forest because there's deer. Sean, it's way behind us. It's over in that. You can't see it. It's in the rear view oh, mirror. Yes. Um, so 
oh, how to Tuesdays. So it will be either like a remodel project, a DIY, but Mr. Sean McCoy will have a cooking segment. So once a month, he will be uh, cooking with a recipe. And so we had to make him an avatar. Are you guys ready for this cuteness? Pull it back. Isn't that so cute? So all of these avatars are made by Mr. Omar Toro. He is amazing. Um, and I asked for a Sean one and he captured Sean. Look at that. It's even got, uh, that is my actual, uh, it's so cute. Chef's, yeah. chef's jacket that I still own. Yes. Now I, he also made me a, uh, because another how to Tuesday will be kind of the crazy life of Ken where I, um, and kick back. So I wanted a relaxed avatar and I have a one hoodie that I love wearing. So he gave me a hoodie and look at this one. So this is the relaxed Ken in my hoodie and shorts. Um, You're not wearing shorts. Or uh, jeans, sorry. Jeans in your vans. Yep. He even has, I told him all of the tools I want because I want to be able to do tools and, you know, use icons. Look at this. He, oops. Those he, are, are those the icons? Yeah. So oh. these are all the icons he's done for me. These are hand drawn. But Look at. actual pictures. No. That's how amazing Omar is. We have the Glowforge. We have a whole bunch of chalk stuff. We have my favorite Ryobi tools. Um, and then, um, he was working on Jasmine's because we are making one for Jazzy. And as you guys know, we lost uh, baby Han just last week. And it seems like a turn to go. Um, and that's why Sean's here because a lot of the viewer mail, I'm sure is going to make me cry. It's still very fresh. Um, and I reached out to Omar and I said, I have a Toby photo, but I want to honor um, Han too. And so he made a Han photo and... <sighs> So we have Mr. Toby and Mr. Han right there. Awesome. And he, so the two things I wanted for Toby is Toby had something called the tough, Toby tough. And he always was panting, but Han's eyes, um, his eyes had everything yep. and he captured it. Isn't it? Didn't he just, I mean, he did an amazing job. He did. I can't even. So anyways, uh, that's some sneak peeks for you guys. Super exciting. I know Sean and Jazzy are excited. Um, and we'll tell you about some of the little tribulations we've ran into. So first and foremost, make sure that you guys check out our Chaka Tour tonight. We'll probably be 7 to 7.30. I know it's a little bit late, but it's just because... Our Ken from the car started late because life's throwing us curveballs. Um, if you don't know what Tour is, I have all the links down below. You can order a new catalog, all of that good stuff. So check it down below. Um, our good friend. So uh, going forward, we're really focusing on business relationships. Mm -hmm. And I have two companies I'm going to be talking about today. The first is, as you guys know, 651. Um, which is going to be 143 vinyl. I love these guys. Everything I ask them, basically, I'm like, hey, I want to, basically, I want a one-stop shop. I want to be able to send these guys to a place that I know is going to get good customer service, that I love, that treats us well, that shares our vision of customer service, shares all of that. And when we went to go visit them, we were absolutely amazed with them. Um, hi, Jazzy. Um, yes. And so everything I've thrown, I'm like, hey, can you get ink? Can you get this? He's literally added to a store. Uh, they have StarCraft product, which is amazing. Uh, StarCraft glitter. They have Cricut. They have Silhouette. They have ink now. So they literally are pleading the place. So please share the love with them. Go use our links down below. Don't forget your coupon code, GET5. You get 5% off everything in the store. Probably my favorite, but Sean's least favorite is glitter. I love it. <laughs> he don't. Um, but it's pretty. It's pretty. I love them. So, so check it out. The other company I want to talk about, and I hope I don't cry, um, is Artist Free. I love Artist Free. I met the ladies uh, at 
CHA two years ago. I actually met Tanya. Then I went back to New York with them and did a fun show in um, Bethel Woods, which is where Woodstock was. And to me, it's all about experiences and I had a ton of fun. Well, they literally are releasing a ton of new products. I have a coupon code with them. Use our links down below, but Ken 10. Um, they reached out to us last or reached out to me last week and they said, Ken, we are so sorry about your fur babies and we just want to let you know everyone at Artist Free loves you. We love your videos and we know everything's been crazy. Um, and we know that when you do videos and stuff, you show a lot of the cricket and we want to just let you know we love you and we're thinking about you and they're sending us one of their heat presses. Wow. You don't even know this. So that way they said it's not a, you know, they said nothing can replace a dog, obviously, but they said, we just want to do this for you. And oh, look at a quail with all the babies. Oh yeah. See, I told you we're in a forest. We're like freaking Snow White. It's not a forest. <laughs> Whatever. So anyways, um, I love them. Um, make sure when you go check out their page, hit their newsletter. I can't tell you what, but they have some exciting stuff coming in September, kind of around the same time as our launch. And it is amazing. You're going to want to know about it. So check it out. I can't wait to get the heat press because it's their heat press. It's a smaller format um, because I want to support businesses that love us mm -hmm. and we're going to love them back. Yep. Um, so also let's chat about our, so Glowforge and some other stuff. Um, as many of you guys know, um, so fun story. I showed a gnome and then I told Sean, everyone wants these gnomes, so I'll cut them. And Sean and Jazzy said, do not can under no circumstance take more pre-orders than 50. So <laughs> I forgot to turn off the Google form. So we have more than 50 and um, here's the deal. If you want to get in on it, uh, go join the group. It's down below. It says Ken's beautiful, crazy life, uh, cutouts and more, all this good jazz. Um, here's the deal. We had so many that Sean says we need to get another Glowforge. Got another Glowforge. And today him and Jazzy, we're setting it at the pro because we want to make videos. We want to do an unboxing video and how to clean it, all of that. And Sean comes up to me and very politely says, um, we have an issue. Problem. And he goes, I barely touched it. I was like, oh, geez. And what happened? Um, what they call the printer hair, the printer head carriage, there's a fan in the back that helps cool off the stuff. And to clean it, you take off the head and you pull forward and dip down because it's spring loaded. Pull forward, bring down. So that's what I did. Pull forward, bring down. And the right front wheel caught it and then busted. It broke. Luckily, Jazzy was filming because this was going to be part of Ken's beautiful, crazy life. And she said, Ken, he, he really wasn't forceful mm -hmm. and, and stuff. Yeah. And I said, Sean, like that. And he was like, I didn't. I was like, I'm not yelling at you. I'm saying we need to call customer service right away to get a new one because we have gnomes to cut. So, mm -hmm. so here's so, the deal. So unfortunately, it, it is a plastic and not yeah not a like yeah. a vinyl or but, not vinyl, but i will say vinyl. we emailed them and they got back to us yeah. in an hour they have the part coming to us um i love the glow forge mm -hmm. we're right. so excited for this cutout group we have so many ideas um but it's gotten to the point where we are actually looking at doing an industrial machine which is scarier than crap because it's like m most more than a most, car most of yeah <laughs> But most of them are so big that it would not fit in the house. It yeah. will have to be done in the garage. But this is part of our new direction is I know not everyone can afford a Glowforge. And I want to make sure you guys can get cutouts and fun things. Mm -hmm. um, so just join the group. I will say um, we had anticipated launching pre-orders on gnomes and the add-ons on August 1st. Mm -hmm. Obviously, baby Han passed away. Um, Glowforge, Oopsie Dooley. So we want to wait until we ship out. On Friday, we're shipping out all of the pre-orders that have already came in. And we're going to wait until we ship those out before we reopen it. So just make sure you're part of the group and we will 100% um, get that 
to you guys probably next week because we're going to ship out on Friday. So, um, but make sure you're part of the group, um, and stuff. All right. So before we get going on other stuff, I know I got some cricket fans in here. Um, cricket right now has some sale, 30% off final, 30% off paper, 30% off craft tools, 30% off blanks. If you use our code KBCL, you get an additional 10% off. So check them out. Um, I'm going to, I'm not going to lie. I haven't really looked at their site in a while because I am focusing on other business partners. So, um, and with that said, uh, let's talk about some other stuff. So, righto. Righto. So I'm not even going to show you the gnome cutouts because they're so freaking cute. You're going to want them. Let's just say that this is what's going out on Friday. Let's just say that Jazzy and Sean never want to separate magnets I want, again. I want to say that I, I hope that when we continue doing more cutouts that there's not this many things I, to cut. I... Okay, there, listen. I, I Your next piece is probably not even close to that, so... Mm, I... Not like this. Mm, yeah, well... You know, these gnomes are worth waiting for, peeps. They're so cute. And these are the add-ons. I won't show you. There's 24. I can't wait for it. Um, and we will be opening it up, so don't worry. But I just want to let you guys know. Um, well, I won't talk about it. But basically, just get part of the group. Mm -hmm. We'll get there. Um, all right. So, yes, freeze-dried Skittles. I cannot believe how many of you guys. Did you not bring them? You put, it, you put, it, you put them in uh, this. Oh, I, I cannot believe how many people have asked for these links i <laughs> love them so they, they literally are super unique this this is definitely whoever came up with this diet this idea of course everybody who's got a freeze dryer can do these so and it's amazing so everyone says why are they all in utah based freeze utah, dried lds people and stuff for those who don't who say it that them, way lds people you know, we have lots of friends that are i kind of was at one time but anyway <laughs> My mom is. My grandmother was. But anyway, one of, the, be one, of them. one of the things that they do is, you know, prepare, prepping, you know, always have enough food for if something bad happened. You so have, basically they are doomsday prepping. It's not doomsday. It's just always be prepared for, and they, they are. you should have enough food so for So freeze dry is they can freeze dry it. You can freeze dry it and stuff will last 25 years. So when you freeze dry Skittles, they expand. Now you can only freeze dry like... You can freeze dry things. almost everything except Chocolate, oil, oil, oil based. anything that's got oil in it. Now, normally on Fat Skittles, I eat the whole pack, but these are so sweet and crunchy. I haven't been eating a ton of them. We have a gigantic bowl. Of and I'm just, I love them. Now, the I only ones I don't like is the sour. Did not like sour. The yogurt sour. cover ones yeah, were, good. were good. But ever since I started eating these, literally, this guy is like, every time we make something, he's like, we could freeze dry that. We could freeze dry that. I'm like, Sean, why do we need to freeze dry something? We don't need meat 25 years from now. And he's like, we could freeze dry it. It's $2,500 for one of these machines. For one of them. You can go up. You can get industrial. Size I know. I need to try to get the ice cream, Melissa. Yeah, I saw Heidi. She bought so she bought the ice cream ones. And she says it's absolutely fabulous. Which I've had freeze dried ice cream. And it is very good. All right. Before we get to our happy sad meal, I'm going to show you some stuff. So as you guys know... I have some good friends and I haven't posted this publicly and I'm not going to tell you who got it for me because I don't want them losing out on their streak. But one of my favorite holidays is coming up. I love Halloween. It was my mom's favorite holiday. And even though it's just me and Sean and now Jazzy and sometimes her kids, I decorate her house every Halloween. It takes forever. It's a lot of work, but I do it in honor of my mom. And so I, it's my holiday. Christmas, everyone loves Christmas, but Halloween is just reminds me of my mom. So Ray Dunn, as you guys know, I'm kind of obsessed, but I've not really done a lot of the uh, everyday stuff anymore. I'm more looking for holiday. And a good friend of mine sent me, she found some stuff and let's show them. So if you're out and about and you see any Ray Dunn Halloween, let me know because I will take it. More booze, please. It's orange. Look at it. It's like a glossy orange. More booze, please. I need more booze. What else we got in there, Sean? Um, I'll show that one last. Yeah, this one's a little bigger. So they re she released cauldrons that are canisters. Cauldrons, cauldrons that are canisters. How freaking cute. With feet. With feet. I'm telling you, if you got I see these. Let me know because I will buy them off you. These are awesome. These are awesome. You and then, like 
Um, she found Witch's Brew and Basic Witch. And then last year when Halloween was coming out, they had said, you know, she had released this kind of orangey. And I was like, mark my word, next year she's going to release green and purple because that is Halloween. And... And this is the only kind of redone that Sean's like, you can get this stuff yeah, because because it's not there's not a lot of it. So um, to my redone friend that got me all of this, thank you. I love you to pieces. You know that. Um, and then uh, she snuck another cup in. And this is where we will start our. Well, no, let's do our taste test first. And then I'll show this one. So taste test because then the rest of this is going to get heavy. So, so the, when we were, yeah, out. so they're out and they're not a boat one. It's just called flavor icons when we were at Safeway and I love trying new limited edition stuff. Um, so I was like, let's try it, Sean. And so they have four flavors. I've already tried them and I hate them all. So this one is so like spicy. Said, I'm not trying it. Again. Okay. I'm going to Nashville. You can smell. The it's from Party Fowl, which it must be a restaurant in Nashville, Tennessee, which we're going to. Yeah, we'll be going to Nashville. Because it's, um, and these are like just regular chips and they're hot. So I'm only going to take, oh, <gasps> the, there they are. They must walk at the same time all the time. Okay. Mm. Oh, I oh, hate it. Do that. I hate it. Eat it. Oh, you can taste the chicken. It's spicy. <laughs> I like them. I hate it. Hate it. Moving on. Now, this one, so I'm lucky. I'm torn because this one, Sean, remember what I said? You That's get true. disengaged. So stop. Okay. Mm. So this one is Philly cheesesteak. This one, you can taste the cheesesteak. This one is not bad. My mouth is on fire and I only took a little bit. I hate it. I like this one, but I'm not sure I like the taste of beef at first. That's all you hear is beef. You can kind of smell it. It's not bad. It's not bad. It's not great. It's not bad. Not bad. All right. So that one's and that one's Gino's. Gino's for those Gino's steaks. The next one is kettle cook. I love kettle cook chips. I actually like like this one. Sean doesn't. I think it's because his taste buds don't work. But this one is based on yeah, Grimaldi's, which is cold brick oven pizza. So this is New York style pizza. This one really is is the marinara. You really taste the marinara. I love kettle chips. I love yeah, I like, them. I like the, crisp, the crispiness of kettle But I wish they were a little bit more pizzeria, you know? I just taste the, the marinara. Something like that, yeah. They're not like great. And the last one is El Torito. And it is Carnia Street Tacos. Carnitas. Carnitas oh, Street Taco. Tacos. Um, Sean oh. makes street tacos and they're amazing. Carnia this one is Sada. based off of El Torito. And this one is, as you can see, Almost done. <laughs> because obviously certain someone in this car loves this one. Really? They're saying yes. Okay. Sorry, guys. I don't know what happened. It's probably because we need to do an update. Sorry. So, anyways, I'm not a big fan of these. Sean loves this one, though. It's and I mean, they're not, like, great, but they're good. Yeah. So Can you guys see us? I'm so sorry it did that. Someone comment. I don't even see comments. Have you tried the jal... Okay. Uh, the jalapeno Cheetos are hot. They burn my tongue off. I think that lady that walks well, around here is scrambling it so we're not on. So Ryan, one time, brought... I hate the, the super hot ones. Oh my god, those are horrible. All right, so somebody asked about Ryan. If he's oh. coming back, he is not coming back. Ryan, um, but might be going somewhere. He is going somewhere. Oh, he is. Yes. He officially took yeah. it. He, yes, because oh. your, your brother sent a text or a thing. Mm. So he got accepted to do e uh, to be a esports, which is gaming, at West Virginia University. So listen, one of the universities in West Virginia. Yeah, for at least two. Years. Everything happens for a reason, yep. and so I'm so glad that that's because he is now gonna get a great education. Yeah, and he's just gonna play esports. He is good. He yeah. is very good. All right, so um, where's the hot ones? Here's all the fun stuff. You can't be doing that during this because you're I gonna just, everyone's gonna hear it. I just need one more. Um. All right, 
So, um, we have a lot of viewer mail to go through. This is why Sean's here. A couple of reasons. Number one, it's going to be hard for me. But number two, um, not that he, Han, Han was both of our dogs, but Han and him had a rough relationship in the beginning just because he didn't trust men except for me. And then he came around and baby Han, he was a needy dog and Sean would just love him. So it, I'm not going to say it was just his dog, but there was a lot of love there. Yep. For those of you guys that don't know, um... When we got back from Salt Lake City, Han wasn't good, and we lost him. We spent um, an entire day by his side and said our goodbyes, and it is still really fresh. Like, even driving here. Um, so, before we went to Salt Lake City, d d my gut told me, like, we need to start going on walks. So, we started going on walks, and he loved walks. Mm -hmm. um, After our run, one of the two. As soon as he'd hear his harness, he would just start whining and he would bring it to you and how i get to this spot is the same way we would take our walks and i'm so glad we took those walks because we did a whole bunch of walks in a row and he was the happiest when we did walks um so i have photos of us doing walks but when we drive here it just is it's still really um it's really new and I, I think my heart hurts the most for little, um, for Riley. It's tough for Riley. Riley has been, every once in a while, she's getting better. She has been better in the she's last been two there. days. She's lost three dogs. Three dogs. She has lost uh, Maya, Toby, and Han. And she kept looking back, waiting for him to pop out to go play because they loved to go play outside. As soon as they go out, she would like run. Mm -hmm. Um, if you guys are seeing a blurry, just go back in and out because we did our interruption got in and then sorry, so sorry. Um, so, um, Toby, we we got to say goodbye to. We knew Toby was leaving, so we got to say goodbye and yeah. spend our time. Han completely came out of left field. He was almost nine. And when you have such a good dog, it's so hard to say goodbye to them. Yep. And he was a good dog. And very good dog. Yeah. Our house is so quiet. Riles is really depressed. Um, I just keep busy. Sean's better than I am. Sean is very much so like he had a great life with us. There couldn't have been a better place, but um, we miss him oh, yeah. a lot. I miss him. I mean, we now have a screensaver <coughs> on our TV that shows all the dogs, all of them, all every picture that we, he, we, we at least got a hold of. I'm sure there's even more. So while we're watching TV or something and we're waiting or coming back for a pause, there they are. And, and it's great to see every picture we do have of them. And it just breaks my heart because it hurts. Riles was a pup when good. Maya died and she loved Maya. It was like her yeah. mom. And then she cuddled with Toby. Um, but Han was her buddy. Han and her played, and she was so happy, and she's not herself. But we're going to work on that. We're going to make it. So, um, first up is my good done friend surprised me and literally put in the box that this is from Han. So, in the morning, when we drink our coffee, we know he's saying good morning. And so, she bought us this. Arf, arf. And it just says arf, arf. And the reason that is because Han... Um, barked a lot and when i would get him going and saying who's a handsome boy he would go woof, woof. and it breaks my heart because i play a video clip and um of him doing of that. him doing that and as soon as i play it riles comes into the room and her howl is a different howl because she misses him and then she just looks for him and it's i think sierra she's got her buddy with hades but riles really is struggling yeah um, so thank you for this. Yep. So we have some stuff to open. Um, I'll read some of them. And then just uh, thank you for everyone that has been sending us stuff. Yes, the first you. one is from Sherry. And it's Ken. Oh, and someone sent something specifically for Jasmine. And that was so that sweet. Was she sweet. loved it. Um, I just have to tell you, Jasmine um, loves all of our dogs, obviously. But she had a special relationship with Han. Yeah. And the reason she bought one of the puppies or the reason we had those puppies is because of Jasmine saying she wanted a baby Han. And not only did she get a baby Han, but Hades is so much like his dad. Yeah, he is. I mean, 
he's starting to turn. He's starting to get that redness now. Not only does he look like him, but he acts like him. He barks like him. He's um, Han very was cuddly. a very sensitive and cuddly dog, and that's how he is. So when I see Hades, it's getting more and more pronounced. So I mean, I'm glad she did that. So so this one says with deepest sympathy, and it says may memories comfort you and bring you peace. As a gift of prayer, you'll be remembered in the daily mass and prayers offered at Sacred Heart Southern Missions for one full year. Oh, that's sweet. Just as may God's love bring you comfort and peace during this difficult time, my prayers are with you and Sean McCoy. Ken and Sean, uh, my prayers are with you for the loss of Han Sherry. Thank, Thank you Sherry. so much. It's, oh, I forgot to show you. It's so pretty. Isn't that nice? Very nice. Very um, the next one is from... Oh, it doesn't say it's, it's uh, ooh, it's got... Sacred Heart Southern Missions is down in Mississippi, in Walls, Mississippi. This is so pretty. I love getting, <coughs> even if it's sad mail, like cards in the mail, and oh, look at that. So neat. So it's got beautiful stamping on it and coloring. I think it's Pam made with love, Elizabeth. Oh, and she goes, I know you'll think you're not, you will not survive. I know you think... All you can do is die. I know you think it's not fair. I know you think you'll never be the same. I know you think about what you could have done. I know you think about going on. I know these feelings. I know this pain. I know the hurt. I too have died on the inside. Somehow, for some reason, I have pulled through. Not completely, and sometimes I even slip back down. Grief is horrible. Grief is an unrelenting pain that we must let in. We must express it. Only through grief may we find peace. Peace and the happy memories. So allow the what ifs and the why me to wash away. Remember that you were chosen to be together. They came into this wonderful world full of hope, underlying devotion, non-judging and wonder for all their beauty and love they were given you. I'm truly sorry for your loss, Elizabeth. Oh, that Thanks, is Elizabeth. so sweet. Spanway, Washington. Spanway. That's not far. Spanway. All right. I think it's on the other side. Oh, Get a horn. Your wings were ready, but my heart was not. So, oh, it's the are... Rainbow Bridge. Amazing how fast you guys can do these. Look, this is... and it's this is when we um say goodbye to it. And this is from Be Becky Mater. Thanks, Becky. Sending healing thoughts and prayers to help fill the weight from your loss. So this one says, um, Ken has Sean McCoy and Jazzy. And Jazzy. And this is from Janelle. And it says, a little something to brighten your day. Pretty. Oh, this actually is for Jazzy. Oh. This is your Jazzy. Dear Jazzy. Jazzy, if you're here, this is for you. Yes. Sending love to you. So sorry about losing Han. He sure was a special one, wasn't he? You know, sometimes angels choose fur instead of wings. May the love and all the wonderful memories be enough to heal you in the weeks and months to come thank you for sharing hades with all of us too just as handsome as this father lord and prayers made with love janelle that is so sweet i'll make sure jazzy gets this i'm sorry i opened her mail she's been way better at this than me <laughs> this is from nicole and it says oh even forever would not have been enough. Sorry for your loss. Dear Ken, Sean, Riley, and Sierra, I'm so sorry for your loss of Han. Please know that you're all dearly loved and that I'm also grieving with you. Love always, Nicole. Thanks, Nicole. That's so nice, yeah, you guys. Very nice. Um, what else do we got back here? Um, so this one had a note. Hopefully still in there. It is. It says... Ken, losing a pet is never easy. When you wear this, I hope it brings you a little comfort, even though he is no longer with you. 
Let him live in your heart and the memories you have of him from Amanda Puckett. Um, thank you, Amanda. Thanks. She is um, on our team with Truck Tour, and um, we love her. Oh, it's a, like a bracelet, and it says it's got little dog prints. I don't know if you can see that. And it says, once by, once by my side, forever in my heart. Here you go. I'll let you wear it because I have so many on my hands. There you go. Thanks, Amanda. Thank you so much. Um, it's. And then this is from Amanda, too. And this is actually says Ken and Sean. Okay, so we have received so many wind chimes. <laughs> and we put them on our deck. And when we wake up, this guy brings me coffee. And he knows I, I need a good hour to wake up. So he brings me coffee, lets the dogs in, and... Um, the first dog that would always come in would be Han. And he was so excited to see me and would whine and bring his favorite toy. And so mornings are kind of hard. And we put up all the wind chimes. And so every morning when we hear the wind chimes, it's like him saying, good morning. And they're beautiful and they're all lined up. I think we have one, two, three, four, five now. Four. This is number five. This is number five. So it says, Ken and Sean, when you hear the chimes, think of Mr. Han and your other babies that have crossed the Rainbow Bridge. Let this be a little reminder that they love you and always will. From Amanda Puckett. Ready? Mm -hmm. It's in there good. It's in there well. It's in there well. I haven't seen this. Sean has, but I haven't yet. Oh. Can you sit in the house? No, we can put it outside still and put it on like on a table? table. Yeah. It says, when tomorrow starts without me, don't think we're far apart. For every time you think of me, I'm right inside your heart. Very cool. That's so cool. Thank you so much, Thanks, Amanda. Amanda. So sweet. Um, this is from Joanne Anderson. You got that? You need my help? I should have brought a pen blade. Oh. Horn. So Sean can open it. Don't show it yet, though. Oh, oh little baby horn. Yeah. Dear Ken and Sean, it is hard to believe we are sending you a message of condolences so soon after Toby Joe. We were shocked and saddened as you kept us updating the beginning of the week. Our days were filled with many tears. When scrolling through photos of Han, we can see how loving and loved he was. He really was a handsome boy. We will be watching him through his little nuggets who are not so little any longer. Know that you have many of us thinking of you and wishing you the best through this difficult time. Sending cyber hugs your way, Joanne Anderson and Myrna Lynn. We already took a peek at this, and Sean literally was like, "How are they getting these photos so quick?" Because we would just post them. Just like, sometimes I never remember us posting. Um, and they um gave us this, and it's him. It's so hard to see in this light. Um, do you have something? Wait, what need about some, this? Need something darker. You can kind of see it. Do I have something darker? Oh yeah. Just be careful. Hold that. There we go. I got, I got. Just tilt it out of the out of the light. Maybe up. There, there it is. Right there. Oh. So it's Mr. Han sitting on our bed uh, with a tie on. Here, we bring the block up. My name. Look at that. His eyes. Yeah. It's his eyes. Thank you so much. We have one of Toby, so we'll put that right next to Toby, and um, it's so so sweet. Now this one doesn't have a name. I'm not sure who it's from some chat books. Um, and it's to show me and Sean, but it doesn't have like who made it. So if, if it was you, we would love to know. Um, this one we opened because it, it didn't have a name and weren't sure what it was. we weren't sure what it was. Um, and this is the one that Sean was like, how? How are people so nice? And how do they have this? And 
why do they do this? And I just said, because they love our dogs and us. And sorry. That someone made a book of his photos. That's him as a baby. I have no idea who this is from because there's no name. So if it was you, um, that's the photo we're actually going to put on his. his. That's going to go on his room. I loved him in that stance. Yeah, that's that's his... That's his stance. That's the way he looks. He was such a good boy. That's an old picture. Too. This oh, is this is how he cuddled with Sean. That was him. Anytime he could be, if he could, Sean used to always say, if he could literally open up my chest and be inside of me, he would. So here's um, the picture that the person did of the etched one. Isn't he so handsome? These are all of them when we were trying to get the best photo. This is probably bar none the best photo, I think. This was, this is... This one I love. This is Han in a nutshell. This is why everyone loved him so much. Because this is what he would do. Yeah. Laid on his back. At first, he hated being on his back when he was a pup. But he loved being on his back and he'd be right between us. That was him. <laughs> oh, but um, Mr. Hun, he was just barely getting great. Look at that face. Yeah. It's the eyes. He was just such a good dog. And I mean, he was abused as a puppy. So I think that's the reason he got so lovey. Look at that. <laughs> he was just such a good boy. Um, I love this photo of him and Sean. Yeah, he did that all the time. He literally loved being in people. I, that's, I have a ton of photos of him and with people. Look at these guys. Oh. So this one was taken just recently with um, Sierra in front of the, the door. Yeah. <laughs> so this is me just showing how much Sierra looks like her dad. So Han is on the left and Sierra's on the right. And then that is just literally how they are when we watch TV. All of them are in our laps. Um, this is literally when we gave him. He was a Christmas gift to my brother yep. and his family, and they had him for how long? About, well, let's see. About a he's, year he's and a half? Three, he's three months at that point. Yeah, because... So, and unfortunately, they had a neighbor that put him in choke chains all the time that had to be bolt cut it off, and then we said we'd find him a new home and after a week sean says no we're keeping him okay. um so this is actually us taking him back right there and look at how much he looks like cc there um so uh he went the other way and then this is him on the deck him, the family photo and then these ones are um i didn't want to have puppies because they're really really hard and a lot of work and Jazzy really wanted a puppy and Allie wanted one. And Sean was like, well, let's do it. And I'm so glad we did. Um, so right, January, this is how we told everyone. Um, so it says, daddies, don't be, don't freak out or be mad. But, and then it had a knocked up and look at that photo of those two nuggets. Um, I love that photo. Oh, um, that's the one where he picked him up from the emergency room. So Thank whoever sent that. Thank you for whoever sent this. I mean, this is amazing. Yeah. Um, I think that's it. Um, and I know a lot of you guys said more coming. Um, so just, I, <clears throat> um, I am just at a loss of words because we, I forget at times that we have these one, we have all of you and I forget that you guys are also losing this, this dog too. Cause he was so 
Um, he was a people dog and he was in all of our videos and our house is so quiet. Um, especially losing two, it's just that much harder. Um, cause my dogs are everything to me. Um, and he was a really special dog. And now I see Sierra and Hades and I know that I think we just, I wasn't prepared for this. And I don't know if you were prepared for this. Oh, um, good. No. Um, so I just want to thank you guys all. And just know that this one, um, it's the reason why we're a little behind on stuff. Just because we, um, you know, we wanted to spend all Tuesday with him. Uh, he went exactly how we wanted him to. I, I cannot say enough things about Tranquil Passing and um, Loving Paws. Um, I haven't shared the photo. I actually recorded a lot of him being euthanized. And the reason why is it was so peaceful. And then at the end, they come take him out. And I told Sean I couldn't do it. And Sean said, I'll do it. It will be my honor to, to take him out of the house. And then in Tron fashion, he ruins it by opening the trunk and saying, wow, it smells like a lot of death in there. I didn't use the word death. What did said, you say? I just said, wow. I said, there's that smell. And he says, yeah, it doesn't go away. Yeah. Um, there was a smell. There yeah, was there a smell. was a smell. Um, so... Uh, Just, just know that we've read all of your messages and your emails and we we all feel the love and it's so nice that you guys, some of you guys are sending stuff to Jasmine because I feel like poor Jazzy and Allie and a lot of other people, not only did they lose a dog, but they also lost the the father to their, their pups. Mm -hmm. um, and they were all close. I mean, the two of them wanted puppies because of a haunt. I figured we'd have Han for minimum, what, th uh, two and a half, three years? Because I'm thinking a lot of dogs follow their timeline of their dad, of their parents. Um, even Chief didn't live yeah. a real long life either. In I feel bad because Jazzy started watching our dogs. Um, she worked with me at the bank and then before she even worked with me at Ken's Creations or at part time with us, um, she watched M Maya and her and Allie were the ones that put Maya down. And then when we went to uh, uh, Africa. Africa, when we got back, Toby got put down and no, or he got he sick. sick right? yeah, we had to take him. Um, so I deal with humor and I always joke. And there's a photo of all three dogs in the back of a our explorer. So you have Maya, Toby, and Han. And jokingly, um, and I've already apologized a million times for this, but jokingly I said, Han, be careful, you're with Jasmine, and there's only you left out of all three of these. And I joked it, and she said, don't say that. And I just joked. And... Then when we got back and it happened, I felt so bad. And not a curse. It's not a curse. And I've apologized and stuff, and I know she knows that it's just... She says, I know you're just joking, but literally all three of those dogs are now gone. And she's been there for two of them. Um, and like I said, she... Han... A, Adored her a lot. She would run with him, and um, every time, like, there was nothing better than coming into our house and being greeted by Han. And we had a um, a friend come over that dropped off the Ray Dunn, and she rang the doorbell, and she says, "Wow, it's a lot different because you don't hear him." And as soon as you rang the doorbell, he would just he hated it actually. I did, but... He it's... hated it because it would be... And it, he, it would sound so, like, scary. Blood. And he wasn't scary. Yeah. As soon as you opened the door, he would, like, 
whine and whimper and go find you his favorite toy. So it was like this welcome committee. And she came in and she says, oh, it's so, it's so different without him. And I said, it won't ever be the same because he, he was the best dog to welcome people into the house. And, um, it's just hard. Um, the pups, I don't think, uh, I think we missed signs. We thought he was just getting old and grumpy and didn't want to be there. But the pups, every time, um, the pups would, um, like try to play with him, he would kind of growl at them. And they said, oh, he's just being a grump and stuff. But come to find out, they said, you know, when you research it, they say sometimes when they don't have patience with pups, it's because they, they're sick. And so looking back, we can see a lot of the signs now. We can see, oh, that's not his behavior. Um, he stopped laying on the bed with us for a while and was just laying on the ground and he would lay against walls. And I'm like, why is he always laying out there not with us? Um, there was just certain little behaviors. His eating kind of changed. Um, but a lot of it is we thought he missed Toby. Toby was his best. I mean, he loved Toby. He was like, I, we just thought he was depressed. And yeah. uh, Jazzy's kids came over and, and I immediately texted her. I said, hey, is there any signs that Han was in trouble? And she had said, no, Joshua would get under the table with him and just say, oh, Han, you miss, you miss Toby so much. And you're so sad since Toby's left. And I was like, we really need to get him in because he's depressed. And Sean did. He took him in and they did a, a check and they were like, he's good. Like, cause they didn't feel anything. Um, so the cancer he has is you can only pick up on ultrasound, ultrasound um, and stuff. So it, 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 it caught us off guard. Um, and it's been hard. It's still really hard. Um, Sierra's doing pretty well with it. Actually. I think Hades comes over and they play and she just love, 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 love. She just wants love. Um, Riles is really, really struggling. Um, and I think she will until, uh, I think she will. I don't know if she'll ever get over. No, I don't know. I mean, she's said goodbye even, to three dogs even, now. Even Maya was pretty depressed after Tanner left. Yeah. Steph. So we'll have to see, but I'm just, I'm thankful we have the pups and, and we can look on and, and live on with through them and stuff. But it's hard when you have such good dogs to say goodbye to them. Um, there are kids and we love them and, um, Toby, even though I took it really hard cause he was my boy, he lived a long time. He, we got to say our goodbyes. I knew he was near the end. Um, this, this, this one just came out of left field and I'm still not prepared for it. And there's moments where I... I, you just gotta let the grief in and we have to feel it and Sean knows that that's how I am and he deals with it differently so yeah. um so I just want to say thank you again I'm thank sure you. the next few Ken from the car will be emotional because people are still sending us stuff so thank you so much um and we've been posting online people have sent us crumble cookies we got um that streusel bread we got mm. what else Not have we streusel, gotten the, uh, the uh, danishes We've gotten some flowers. Seeds, Jazzy got us an edible yeah. strawberry uh, chocolates. And yeah. we have a beautiful plant Julie sent us. So um, just thank you so much thank and stuff. Uh, so I'll continue to open stuff because if you take the time out of the day to send us love, especially over our dogs, um, we'll always share that off. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're so blessed because of you guys. Um I'm really, I just want to say I'm so excited for the next month or so. Not only is it my birthday, 40th, big birthday, but this new direction we're going is great. I cannot uh, wait for it. How did you like the cinnamon roll Kringle? I like it. I like Kringles that have fruit in it. Yeah, you like I liked it, but the raspberry, I love. The turtle one was, mm, it was fine. Too much chocolate mm, to have yeah. on a Danish. Yeah. It was good. I get it. But the cinnamon and the, and the other one was really good. Sean know. keeps it inside and that's not really good either. He actually doesn't keep it inside. Sean's very good at... It's part of life. You mm -hmm. you were born, you live, you pass away. And he's very much so like... He had a good home. We took really good care of him. Um, and we have other dogs we need to love. Yeah. 
This is basically the circle of life. Uh, it's not. It's not fair that he did leave. Really, I. I don't like that at all. It's... I'm the complete opposite, and I cry all the time. <laughs> so, anyways, uh, the one thing that's keeping us going is all of you guys, but also the direction we're going. We're so excited, even if it throws curveballs and a glow forge goes down on us, or um, our shooting schedule goes Willy Wonka, or the vault happens and gets crazy. Um, <laughs> So, uh, but we definitely are launching September 6th. Make sure you're part of the, um, our cutout group so you can pre-order those gnomes and everything else that's coming. We are slowly changing over all of our other social media. So Instagram, YouTube, and all that. <coughs> and, um, I'm excited. What are you most excited oh, about? I can't wait to do all the stuff that we've, the things that we've already done to show. What to edit to and all that. Edit and, and then show it off and then the other things that we're going to come I think that you and Jazzy are just more invested because it's all of us doing this. It's like, right. this is our new direction and stuff. So, exactly. yeah. and I think it's, it's the evolution of our YouTube channel yep. and our direction. Yep. So, and then somebody um, just asked the other hands are coming online to pre-order next week because next week. we were going to do it this week. And Jazzy asked, Tonight. She says, can we please get this first These order first out? Out the door. And then she goes, let's do that. Because we thought we would have two machines going at once now. And we did for a little bit. And then, wah, wah. <laughs> uh, but they've already fixed it and stuff. So, can um, you tell us the cost of the gnomes? I cannot yet. Because it might be changing a little bit. Because Sean says, I have to change it. But I will let you guys know in the group. Mm -hmm. So, all right. We are going to go because we want to try to go live on our other channel by 7, 7.30. Um, we can probably do it by 7. Yeah, we should be able to do it by 7. So, Ken's Creations Chalk Couture. Uh, that's where we're <laughs> going to be live, hopefully by 7. Um, I'm really excited because I told Sean I really wanted something. And he's already got it done. And we're going to debut it tonight. So, I'm really excited for that. Um, and, yeah. Anything else? You already forgot. Yeah. So, anything else? I know what it is now. No, that's it. Oh, last thing. Last little bit of thing. Um, we are still going to Salt Lake City in September to the Teresa Collins uh, event mm -hmm. in Park City. So, I think there's tickets available. Check out her blog. If not, I'll send you the link and stuff. I'm doing a whole chocolate tour project. I'll be doing a virtual one and an in-person. I cannot wait. Um, it's beautiful. We'll be doing lives there and stuff. So, check it out. Check so... It out. All right. We love you guys. We'll see you on our other channel in about 30 minutes. Bye, everyone.